Hi everyone, so this is my Boxing Day sale Lush haul. Um, I know it's a bit late, I did get this package about a week and a half ago, but I've just been super busy, so I haven't had a chance to film it yet. Um, but yeah, I made quite a big order online on Boxing Day, and then I went to their one of their shops um, on Boxing Day as well to get a few more bits that wasn't online. Um, so I'll show you the things that I ordered online first. Um, there is a quite a bit, so this video might be a bit long, uh, but I'll try and get through it as fast as I can. And then I'll show you what I bought in the shop as well. So I forgot to mention that Lush were also doing 50% off some of their current products. So some of their shampoos, conditioners and shower gels. So that's why I've probably ordered so much because I have really wanted to try some of their shampoos and some of their can, um, shower gels, but they are really expensive. So this was like the perfect, perfect opportunity to try some of them out as well. So yes, um, this is how it came packaged. So all of Lush's packaging is recyclable and they come with like these little foam peanuts that just disintegrate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all out of the box and lay it all on the floor I think that's going to be the easiest way because these peanut things just get everywhere um, and then I'll show you what I bought a great thing about ordering online as well is that they package each individual item so they'll either put like cellophane around it or they'll put them in like little bags and it just makes them stay fresh for a lot longer um, I do have some Christmas items from them from 2013 or it should have been like 2000, no, 2012 now um, that I still have and they're still fresh um, I just cling film them or use cellophane bags and yeah they just last a lot longer so that's a good tip really is if you do buy Lush products to um, wrap them up and not just keep them out in the open so yes, so I'm just going to start over here with the Christmassy items. So the first thing that I bought was one of these So White bath bombs and it just smells absolutely amazing. I had one of these last year and I kept it for about six months because I didn't want to use it. Um, but it just smells of apples and it just smells really, really fresh. And you're supposed to throw it on the side of your bath and so it breaks like a... Um, what are they called? A snowball, I forgot that word then, um, a snowball and inside is pink and I think it's pink and purple but yeah it just smells absolutely lovely. So that was that and then I bought one of their candy, candy mountain bubble bars, um, I had one of these last year and last year they were pink and green but they've converted back to the original pink and white design instead and this smells a lot like the Rockstar soap which is really nice, it's really sweet and like girly really. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get about three baths out of one of them. Um, I do like to split the bubble bars and get quite a few uses out of them because you only need a tiny little bit and it makes loads of bubbles. So it's really cost effective. The uh, next thing I got was one of these and I think this was a new Christmas product. Um, I think it's just called the Snowman and it's got I think it has like cocoa butter in there so it's really moisturising and yeah it smells exactly like cocoa butter and it's really cute and so yeah I bought one of those. Next thing I got was one of these um, Golden Wonder bath bombs and it's absolutely huge and um, it smells amazing. I did try one of these just before Christmas and I loved it. It has like confetti inside and if you shake it it does rattle can hear that and um, mine doesn't rattle a lot but yeah it just smells really citrusy and fresh and it's gold on the outside it's got like a gold luster and yeah it's just a really nice one so I bought one of them and um, next few things I bought were four of these um, little bombardino I think they're called uh, little bath bombs and I bought four because I absolutely love these. I think this is a new Christmas product. I don't think these were out last year. But they're, they're so cute. They're in a little shape of a, a little man, I think. I don't know what it's supposed to be. 
but it smells absolutely amazing. It's got lemon oil in there and cocoa butter and it's just so moisturising. When you get out of the bath, your skin is just so soft. Um, but yeah, it just smells so nice. So I've got four of those, so I stocked up from those. Um, I wish I got a few more, to be honest, but I do hoard a lot of my Lush products. So I kind of restrained myself this year because I need to get in the habit of actually using them and not just looking at them. Um, so next few things that I bought were three more of these Christmas Eve bubble bars. And these are my favorite bubble bars. Um, I bought about 10 of them last year and I think I've got one and a half left. So yeah, I usually use them. I split them up into like about three pieces. So they do last quite a long time. But it's in the shape of a little moon and it they just smell absolutely amazing. I think they've got jasmine and ylang ylang in them. But yeah, oh, they're just so nice to use like on the night time and they're just really, really relaxing. So I bought three of those. And then the last couple of bubble, bubble, uh, bubble bars that I bought were um, non-Christmas items. So these are just the comforter bubble bars. I'm sure you've all seen these before. Um, but these were 50% off, which was, I was really excited when I saw it because they are quite expensive. They're usually near enough five pound just for the one. But because they were half price, I thought I'd buy a, buy a couple. And yeah, they just smell absolutely amazing. And they smell like um, blackcurrant or blackberry. And it says, wraps you up in a fluffy pink blanket of blackberry bubbles to keep you safe and warm. Crumble under running water for mounds of fragrant bubbles. So the thing is absolutely massive. So I usually get about six baths out of one of these. So that'll last me quite a while. So that was all the bath bombs and bath ballistics um, bubble bars that I bought, well, that I ordered online. And then I'll just go into the soaps. So the only Christmas soap that I bought this year was the Angel's Delight soap. I still have tons of this left over from last year, but I thought I'd buy one extra block just in case I use up last year's supply because I absolutely love this one. Um, I bought 100 grams of it. And it just smells really, really, really fruity. And yeah, it's just yummy. It smells a bit like the Miranda soap that's out all year round. But yeah, I love that one. And then I bought three soaps that I think they're retro. Um, I don't think you can get them in the shops, but I think you can only order them online. And these were all 50% off as well. So the first thing that I got was the Red Rooster soap. And it smells really, really spicy. Um, not too sure what it's got in there. It's got coconut oil, um, orange juice. Um, it's got orange slices in there as well. Oh, that's it, star anise it's got in there. So that's probably why it smells so spicy. But yeah, I was really excited to try this one out. Um, it's something different. I don't usually go for spicy scents really. I'm more of like fruity and sort of... Um, sweet scent I like those sort of scents more than spicy scents but I thought I'd give it a go it was 50% off so there's no harm in trying and um, the next thing I bought was the sandstone sandstone soap and um, which was also 50% off and it says our fresh lemon scented soap is filled with scrubby sea uh, scrubby sands for an exfoliating experience so yeah it smells really really nice so it's, I think it's packed with like sand in there. So it's going to be really good for exfoliating. And then the last soap that I bought was Banana Moon. <laughs> and I just love the name of it. Sorry, my camera's not focusing very well today. Um, but yeah, it's packed with bananas. I'm not really a lover of banana. Um, I don't really like banana scents or tastes or anything. But I just love the name. So I thought I'd give it a go. And there's other things in there as well, as well as um, banana. But yeah, it just smells really fruity. It says, quite often banana soaps just have synthetic banana fragrance. We use fresh organic bananas because they are brilliant emollient 
and we add yogurt because it's good for your skin. How, oh, now you see why it's so difficult to give up. So yeah, that was that. So the next few things that I bought were shampoos and conditioners and these were also 50% off. Um, so the first thing that I got was the big sea salt shampoo which I've been wanting to try for absolutely ages but it's so expensive full price, I think it's about 10 to 12 pound. Um, there was no way that I was going to buy it at that price just for a shampoo and um, have the risk of not liking it but because it was half price I thought I'd give it a go so it's a sea salt shampoo and it gives your hair lift and volume and it makes it easy to comb through and smells great for hours so I'll try and open it up so you can see what it looks like so it just looks like that and it's packed with sea salt in there and I can't wait to try this out it smells absolutely amazing so yeah that was that and then the next shampoo that I bought was the I Love Juicy shampoo and I've had this before and I absolutely love it um, it's really good for when you haven't washed your hair for a couple of days and then washing it with this because it just gets absolutely everything out so if you've been using like hairspray or hair gel and that it just gets all that sort of residue out of your hair and it smells amazing as well and um, it's really fruity and it says it gets it gives you the freshest smoothie hair imaginable a mango papaya kiwi and pineapple jelly shampoo to blast through grease and make oily hair bouncy clean once more so yeah i tried that um, and that was half price and then i got a couple of conditioners so the first one that i got was the cooler cooler it lin oh i can't pronounce it um and this is a retro conditioner so you can only get this online um so i'm really looking forward to trying this out um, I've tried the American cream before and I really enjoyed it. It's not absolutely amazing, but my hair is quite thick and it didn't make my hair soft at all. I had to use tons of it to actually get my hair soft. So I thought I'd try this one. And it says, uh, we've got a lunchly, a lunchly, <laughs> a lovely bunch of coconuts. And they're all in this bottle. Keep curly, dry and afro hair looking soft and looking beautiful with this intensely moisturising conditioner so hopefully this one will work and I absolutely love coconut so really looking forward to trying that one and then the last one that I got was the Veganese hair conditioner um, which I think you can get these in, this in the shop um, but it says I think I'm turning Veganese I think I really think so lemon for shine seaweed for softness and herbal infusions for your scalp a fresh light conditioner for all hair types not just vegans so yeah I got that one as well. And then the last few things that I bought were shower gels and I absolutely love luscious shower gels, especially Snow Fairy. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have Snow Fairy online this year, so I had to go down to the shop to buy it. Um, but I'll show you that in a bit. So these first three that I bought were current line shower gels, so you can get these all year round. So the first one is Flying Fox. I have an obsession about foxes, so that's why I bought this one, to be honest. I didn't had no idea what it smelled like, but I only bought it just because it was called Flying Fox. But um, it does smell really, really nice. It's really spicy, and I think it would be a good one for men as well. So that's what it says on the front. My camera's not focusing very well because of the lighting. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then I got the Olive Branch, which I've been wanting to try for absolutely ages. And it smells really, really nice. Um, it's got fair trade, fair trade olive oil, fresh mandarin, bergamot oil and vine leaves. So yeah, and I think it says that you can use it for your body and hair. Um, a lot of their shower gels I do use in my hair as well. Um, especially the Snow Fairy one. I think that's really a good, a really good shampoo as well as um, shower gel and then the last um, like current line shower gel that I bought was It's Raining Men and I absolutely love this one um, it's got the same scent as um, the Honey I Wash The Kids soap so it's like really it smells toffee and caramel and just really sweet and just lovely and um, so I bought one of those and then the last two Christmas products that I bought were punch shower gel which was you was available last year but 
I just didn't buy it because I bought so many of these Snow Fairy and Twilight shower gels that I completely forgot to buy one of these. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, it says it's got orange juice and a shot of tequila and it's inspired by a traditional Mexican Christmas punch. This shower gel is bright, boozy, fruity and uplifting. So yeah, that's that one. And then the very last one that I bought was Rose Jam. And I'm not too sure whether this is just a Christmas line product or they're going to release it all year round. But it smells amazing. Um, I'm not much of a floral sort of person, but it just smells really nice. I think it's got um, like strawberry in there as well, but I have tried it already and the consistency is really nice. It is like a jam almost. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice. It says, lather this sweet scented shower gel onto your skin with lemon to bring clarity and rose to live the spirits. So yeah, that was the last thing that I bought online. Yeah, so, so those were all the items that I bought on Boxing Day that were 50% off. As I said at the beginning, I will list all the prices down in the information box. And I'll just show you now what I bought in store. So these are the few things that I bought in store. So I'm just going to start over here. So I bought another one of the Bombardinos. So I've got five of them now. Um, as I said, this was like my all-time favourite this year. I absolutely love it. Uh, the other thing that I bought was one of these luxury Lush Puds. And it smells amazing. These were so difficult to buy. Um, I did talk to one of the ladies in store and she said that they completely sold out all over the country. Um, they did really well this year. And it smells exactly like the Twilight Bath Bomb, which I absolutely love. And it's just got like a little holly leaf on the front and then it's got like these little spots around it. That's really cute. And then next thing I bought was one of these little gingerbread houses. Well, it's absolutely massive. Um, I'd probably cut this in half to be honest because it's so big. Um, but it's really cute. It's a little gingerbread house. And it's hard to describe the scent. I think they wanted it to smell like a Lush, a lush shop like that typical smell of Lush and it does smell like it but yeah it smells amazing and I have wrapped all of these in um, plastic bags already just to keep them fresh then I bought another one of the Golden Wonders so I've got two of these now and they're supposed to shake but like rattle but this one doesn't do anything which is a bit of a shame but oh well <laughs> And then I bought another two of the So White Bath Bombs, uh, which, as I said, are my absolute favourite, apart from the Bombardino as well. But yeah, I got two of them. And then I bought a whole load of Snow Cake Soap, which I couldn't get online. They didn't have any left, so I had to go in the store and buy some of this. Um, but I bought about 350 grams of it. And they... Um, cut it in like little blocks for me but it smells it smells really nice I didn't like it last year I wasn't too fond of it but I thought I'd give it a go this year and I really enjoy it and um, it smells like marzipan and almonds but it's really really moisturizing Um, it does go quite fast because it's so creamy but as I said it's really moisturizing it makes your skin really really soft and I do really like it so it's just white and then it has like this gold luster on top. So yeah, that's that. And then the very last thing that I bought was two bottles of Snow Fairy. And oh my God, it was so <laughs> difficult to buy these. Um, luckily, I bought the last two in the shop. I literally like ran to the Snow Fairy. The assistant in the shop said like, how can I help you? And I was like, where's your Snow Fairy? And she pointed over the other side of the shop. So I literally dashed over there to get grab the last two and um, they still had some of the like the little miniature bottles left but I really really wanted some of the bigger ones because I use it all the time and it's my absolute favorite and I love it so yeah I got two of those so oh, I'm out of breath now <laughs> so those are all the items that I got in the Lush Boxing Day sale um, I'm sure these are going to last me all year now 
and I do usually buy some of like their Easter products and Valentine's products um, further on in the year but I do absolutely love their Christmas products I think they're absolutely amazing so yes that is everything um, any questions just leave them down below and if you want me to do a whole collection so I'll show all of the other products that I've got um, then just leave a comment in the down bar as well like in the comment section so yeah I'm gonna go now because I'm out of breath and I need to sort all of this stuff out now um, so yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoy this video and I shall see you very soon bye bye guys